I was born to drive this car. Hi, I'm meteorologist Dave Frazier, and today I'm not in the Storm Team Weather Center. I'm in my garage. What am I doing here, you ask? Well, like many folks living here in northern Michigan, I'm a car guy. Every summer, you'll find me at just about every car show in the region as a spectator. This summer is going to be different. I'm going to be a participant. So here's what I'm going to do this spring. So I can be on the road this summer in a classic ride. I'm going to buy and restore an old car, have it run great, and look, well, decent, all for under $5,000. I've already taken care of step number one. I purchased this 1963 Chrysler Imperial Crown Coupe for a mere 1,000 bucks. That's a great deal for a car of this quality. However, it is one-fifth of my total budget. Why was it only a grand, you ask? Well, it doesn't run. As a matter of fact, the previous owner completely blew up the motor. In 1963, they made only about 1,000 of these Imperial Coupes. Unfortunately, a lot of them aren't around today because, well, these cars are so huge it's actually about 5,300 pounds. A lot of them went the way of the demolition derby. Now this car adds style and power. That's what I really like about these old Chryslers. It has a 413 under the hood, which of course, as I mentioned earlier, doesn't run, but it's very powerful. We're pulling about 340 horsepower stock. Plus, we have every single luxury item you can imagine. I have power steering, power brakes. This thing even has cruise control, eight-way seats, power windows, this thing is the ultimate highway cruiser. During the restoration, we won't be cutting corners where safety is concerned. As a matter of fact, we will be stressing safety issues along the way, but we will be making smart decisions on existing parts. Nothing gets wasted. Now, my goal is to drive my Chrysler down to the Woodward Avenue Dream Cruise in Detroit in August. I'm not going to win any trophies, but I will have a car that's a strong runner and a decent looker. So if you're like me, confined to a very tight budget, and you have an old car that you're just itching to get running this summer, why don't you journey along with me, and together we can all learn how to restore a classic car on a tight budget. Let's get started. <laughs>